I was led to the profession by my commitment to uphold my mother's legacy and my life's mission of ensuring all children are able to attend high achieving schools. I was raised by Jermaine Wilson, my dear mother, who attended segregated schools in the South. She wanted more for her life and moved to California to attend UCLA. While at UCLA, she sat in at many lunch counters to fight for desegregation of schools. See, the accomplished educator you see before yourself is only possible because my mother worked six days a week to put me through private education. She knew a little secret. Education is a great equalizer and it makes it possible for students of color to achieve the American dream. I was also led to the profession because during my educational career, I only had one African-American teacher. As an African-American girl, I faced many obstacles and experienced racism. It was hard being young, black, and gifted. I often heard my teachers say things like, she can't be this smart. How did she score the highest on the state exam? But I heard another voice, which rang much louder than theirs. It was my mother's voice. It said, you're brilliant. You can accomplish great things. You are a leader and not a follower. This resonated with me during times of darkness and of great achievement. Like my mother, I want to empower others to see the change they want to be. I know the power that education can have on your life and I want my students of color to experience the same exact thing. That is why education is not just my profession, it is my life's mission. The greatest challenge that is facing education today is the widening achievement gap. The issue is near and dear to my heart because of the disparities that exist for students of color based on my personal experience and my mother's and so many others fight for equal education. Two possible causes of the increased achievement gap are the loss of instructional minutes and the disparities in educational funding for students of color schools and districts. It has, the achievement gap was worsened by the pandemic due to the loss of instructional minutes, as well as the highlight of the issue of limited access to broadband internet services for students of color. The disparities have created lasting effects for our students that are prolific and have long effects into their adulthood. These students typically experience high rates of, of high school dropout rates, they struggle to find employment, and they experience poverty in adulthood. Furthermore, the achievement gap widens the systematic inequity and undermines the ideal of equi equitable opportunities and social mobility for students of color which my mother and so many other civil rights leaders fought for over the years. Based on my experience, there are three key steps to take to eradicate this gap. One, fund schools equitably, equitably for students of color. Step two, recruit and retain diverse student teachers and ensure that they are knowledgeable of culturally responsive teaching for diverse students. Step three, engage not only parents, but community as well to fight for social justice and equitable funding in schools. Parent engagement is dear to my heart because my mother was a catalyst for my educational development. And it serves for the foundation of my educational policy in my classroom. Parents are key and are their students' first teachers. Therefore, in my classroom, parents are engaged through active communication and an open door policy. During our breakfast club, the door is open for parents, community members, and students to fellowship and build lasting bonds that transcend the classroom. It provides me with the opportunity to connect with my parents outside formal interactions at parent teacher conference, open house, and back to school night. These bonds transcend the classroom and build a foundation for a community that supports my learners to be their best academically, socially, and emotionally.